Hi guys, Shar here with YourSiteNeedsMe.com and I wanted to come with you, come to you today and talk to you about Facebook um, and WordPress. I have quite a few clients that come to me and say, my Facebook posts, when I post my blog posts for my WordPress site on Facebook, I end up getting no picture or even worse, the little bobblehead guy right here. And so I wanted to help you guys out with this and show you some easy fixes to this. So there's a reason why this happens. The main reason is that the photo right here, Facebook has a requirement on how big this photo has to be. And I'll let you know what that is. Um, you'll see a pop-up on this video that tells you what that is. I'll add that afterwards so you know what it is. But you have to make sure that the photo that is attached to your blog post in your featured blog post is a certain size. Is that going to mean that it's always going to work? No, but this is one of the major things that's going to help you not have the bobblehead guy. So for instance, in this blog post, if I click it, when we first posted it, you'll see that the image was 600 by 392. So I'm not going to change that yet because I want you to see there's a handy dandy link called the Facebook debugger. And if you, you can actually, I can copy this URL right here in the video or you can just go to Google and type in Facebook post debugger and you're going to find it right here. Open Graph Debugger Facebook for Developers. So that's the page I'm on. So if you want to see what it's going to scrape, you're going to go ahead and paste that in here and hit debug. And it's going to show you some warnings, but most importantly, it's going to show you here's what we found about your URL. So here you see the bobblehead guy. It scraped it three minutes ago. And that's what it's going to look like when you post it to your Facebook page if you post it now. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the post. I'm going to remove this featured image that was 600. And I'm going to change it to one that's 1200 by 800. And we're going to go ahead and update this. Now I'm going to go one step further and I'm going to clear my website cache so I can make sure that Facebook is pulling the freshest information. Now I'm going to go back to the debugger and I'm going to scrape again and see if it pulls it. And it didn't. Okay, so one other way that you can get this to be fixed, there's actually a couple different ways. Um, one of them is to insert the post into your actual post. So if I were to, for instance, come up here and it should be the top post and insert this media, I'm going to leave it the full size and I'm going to align it to the right and insert it. Then I'm going to click on it and you can leave it at the top of the post, you can put it in the middle, but in this case I'm actually going to edit it and I'm going to custom size it to make it smaller and right align it, Let's see what that does. There you go, looks kind of nice, but it keeps the image the right size, so it's actually resizing the image in the code, so it's not taking the image out. You still have the original image, it's not a resized image from WordPress, it's the same one, it's just actually resizing it in the code. So we'll go ahead and update that. Clear our cache. And we'll scrape again, see if it finds it. It didn't, okay. So here's some other ways. We're gonna go down here to the bottom and we actually have a couple of uh, plugins or a plugin that we've added called All-in-One SEO Pack. And All-in-One SEO Pack is one of my favorite SEO plugins because if you use this to, you can actually use it to set your social settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and click on social settings. I'm gonna tell it what I want it to say as far as the title goes. So if I didn't want it to say um, what it currently says as the title, I could change that. Let's say I want it to say this. And then I want to control what it says as far as the description. I'm going to take that any code out. And then
see if this works. Now I'm going to tell it which image I want. So this is going to be, I'm not sure which one this is, so I'm going to open the image in a new tab to make sure I have the biggest image. This is the right one. And if I'm not sure, I can right click and open this image in the new tab. That's bigger too. So this is actually, I'm not sure. I can go to my post and I can click on this. And this is the right one. PNG is the wrong one, so I want the JPEG. So that's the JPEG. They're both JPEGs. So they're both good. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, let's go back up here. I'm going to choose the second one. And Yoast actually has some SEO options as well if you want to use theirs. Leave that. I'm going to go to readability. No. Nope. It might be an option you have to turn on with them. I thought they did, but possibly not. Anyways, um, right here in the all-in-one SEO pack, you'll also notice that you have debug this post. So if I click on debug this post, it's going to open it up over here, and it's going to allow me to scrape the post. So I can troubleshoot it this way and try to and make sure I can fix it. Um, you definitely want to. I haven't updated the post yet, so you want to update your post. <clears throat> And then I'm going to purge my cache. And then we'll come down here again. And we can debug the post. So in this case, we're seeing that it still doesn't look like it worked. But folks, it did work. So I actually had to pause this video to confirm this and come back to this. Um, what I did is I went back and I re-went back to the debug page all by itself and I clicked fetch new scrape information because I think my browser was caching this page in some way so it wasn't really fetching the right information and it fetched the right information. So then I went back to my sharing debugger and it did. So here's the original page I showed you. Watch if I scrape again it will show the right image. So my browser was actually caching the page or doing something to stop this from working. And so of all the three things I did, changing the image size, um, changing the photo, in uh, adding the photo into the post itself, and then choosing the photo down in the all-in-one SEO options, one of those three did work and could have worked the first time. But again, the scrape doesn't always work perfectly. If you do one of those three things or all of those three things, this will work. And if it doesn't, close your browser down, clear your cache, and check again. Or easy way to check it, take your link, go to your Facebook page, just go to your personal one, paste the URL in there. Oops, I don't want to paste that URL. I want to paste this URL. It's not really the right URL, but it worked anyways. You can see that it worked in here. So it works. Um, one of those three things is going to work and fix it for you so that if I were you, when you're writing a new blog post, because it's not easy to test it prior to publishing it, make sure you put a larger image in here and you use all-in-one SEO pack to choose your image in here. Whatever you upload in here will show up here, so just choose it there, and that way you won't get the little bobblehead guy. And make sure you insert your image somewhere into the post itself so it's at the top of the post. And that's it. That should fix your issue. Again, this is a really common thing for Facebook. It happens all the time, but people don't know how to fix it. So this is how we fix it. And as long as when you build your blog post, you do it correctly and you set the right image size inside the post as the featured image and use this as a backup just to make sure you should never have a problem with that. And that's it. Hope this post helped you out. And if you have any questions or comments, even if you um, something you didn't like about the video, feel free to post it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.
Ha <laughs> ha